So today I'm talking about a P2188 code, what it is and how you could go about fixing it. And so what is a P2188 code? Well, it's a system two rich at idle bank one. And so what does this mean? Well, basically there's what's called O2 sensors and they're located down on the exhaust and they do two things. The first thing they do is they monitor the catalytic converter. And the second thing they do is they monitor how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion. And then the computer uses this information to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture that's going into the cylinders. But when you get this P2188 code, this bank one sensor 102 sensor is reporting that this air fuel ratio mixture is off, that the engine's running rich for some reason, which means there's more gas than air than should be that's going into the cylinders. And this is mainly happening when the engine's idling. And so it's going to be troubleshooted to know why. And if you have a V6 or V8 engine, the engine's going to have two banks. Bank one is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. So if you Google your engine cylinder location and you locate the number one cylinder, since there is differences between engines, then that side of the engine is going to be bank one. And the opposite of that would be bank two. If you have a four cylinder engine, then there only be one bank. And one thing to note about this P2188 code is that sometimes this can be hard to troubleshoot since it can be caused by many different things. I'm going to show how you go about fixing this problem, but keep in mind that sometimes this code can be kind of hard to troubleshoot. And so what would be some possible causes of a P2188 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is that that bank one sensor one O2 sensor has gone bad and it's just reporting bad information back to the computer. So the computer just thinks there's a problem when there isn't a problem. The basics of what's going on with these O2 sensors is that there's going to be two on each bank of the engine. Sometimes there could be three, but usually there's two. Sensor one is going to be located before the catalytic converter, also called the upstream O2 sensor. And sensor two is going to be located after the catalytic converter, sometimes right on it. And it's also called the downstream O2 sensor. The main sensor that's reporting a problem and the one to go and check when you get this P2188 code is going to be this bank one sensor one O2 sensor. So the first thing to go and do is to go locate that sensor on your vehicle and test it to be sure that it's good. There's some different ways to go about testing those sensors. There's some good YouTube videos on that. I've made videos on that. If you want to check out that video, I'll put a link down in the description box below. But the first thing that's going to cause this is a bad bank one, sensor one, O2 sensor. And the next thing that's going to cause this is that there is a rich running condition on bank one side of the engine. And here's where it can be kind of difficult to troubleshoot. And the first thing to check for is if you're getting any other codes. If you're getting any other codes, be sure to pay attention to that because that could help point you to what the problem is. So, for example, if you're getting like a P0497 code, evaporative emissions system low purge flow, then that would point to a bad purge valve. The purge valve is part of the EVAP system that takes gas vapors from the gas tank and feeds them back up to the engine to get burnt off. If these get stuck open, then they can cause the engine to run rich. They're fairly simple to check if they are stuck open. Basically, they should be stuck closed when there's no power going to it. So if you could blow through it when there's no power going to it, then you know it's stuck open. I made videos on how you go about testing a purge valve without removing it by using the engine vacuum. I'll put a link down below if you want to check that out. But basically, be sure to pay attention to any other codes you're getting. Also be sure that there's no bank two rich codes. For example, if you've got like a P0175 system two rich bank two, then that would point to something that's affecting the whole engine instead of just one bank on the engine. Of course, this is mainly if you have a V6 or V8 engine, but basically if you do have a V6 or V8 engine and the whole engine is being affected, then that would point to something like fuel pressure, so a bad fuel pump or a bad sensor or something like that. But if you are only getting rich codes on one bank of the engine, then the cause of that will be something that would only affect one side of the engine. So like a bad injector or something like that. If you're not getting any other codes or you're having problems trying to figure out which cylinders are running rich, you can remove the spark plugs on bank one side of the engine one at a time and then match them to a burn chart and check to see how the cylinders are burning in there. If you match them up to a spark plug burn chart, you can see if they're running rich or not. When that happens, usually the tip is blacker than it should be. But basically removing the spark plugs on bank one side of the engine one at a time and seeing how they're burning can't tell you if one of those cylinders is running rich. If the engine is running rich, usually you're going to get other codes. So if you are getting other codes, be sure to pay attention to that. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P2188 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.